Hello friends, welcome back to Auto Development video. Today uh, we are going to discuss about the wizards. We were discussing about model structure, views, models, and even the, we discussed the, about the security, access rights kind of things in the last videos. In this video, we are going to discuss about the wizards. So, what is wizard? Wizard uh, is nothing but a dialog box simple dialog box that this Odoo uses to interact with the users okay so um, for example is like uh, uh, for generating a report uh, the user have to uh, input some uh, filters or some conditions like that so uh, this data is uh, the, the conditions that you put on this uh, that dialog box uh, is just for a temporary purpose uh, it do not uh, need to be stored in the database or something like that so it has to be uh, cleared after the use so it's just a uh, interactive box dialog box something like interactive session or something like you can call uh, you can understand <laughs> something like something like that okay so uh, this is uh, a simple dialog box the views that uh, the form view uh, that we see on the dialog box can be uh, defined uh, from uh, the development side. So uh, it's a simple dialog box that used to interact with the users. Okay, that is uh, what wizard is. So what's the difference? What is the difference with the normal forms and these wizards? The model that uh, uses for the normal database tables are model is extended by the models okay so uh, this is our code uh, let's check here here uh, in our sessions the open academy session is extended by the model but the wizard that is extended by the transient model so uh, this there is uh, one more model one more type of model is the abstract model we will discuss that later so this transient model uh, the wizard is using this transient model instead of model okay so uh, it extends the class uh, transient model some uh, there are some uh, properties that uh, have that is specially for uh, transient model uh, this model is not to be uh, persistent okay so uh, just like uh, I mentioned earlier uh, it will automatically delete from the database uh, after some time that's why uh, it's called transient and uh, uh, in till Odoo 13 this uh, wizard model no need to be uh, when the for this wizards, we don't have to describe any access rights or something like that. Uh, uh, we are uh, heard that uh, it's going to be uh, added. The security feature for this transient model is also be added in the Odoo upcoming version of Odoo. It's Odoo 14. Uh, we hope uh, it will happen uh, so that we will have more secure, uh, more secure uh, system okay uh, currently we don't have we don't have to uh, mention or provide any security access rights or user groups or something like this uh, for the uh, wizards and uh, uh, one more uh, property is the wizards can refer or may refer to regular records okay so uh, in a dialog box uh, or the report generation window we can access uh, using the um, one to uh, one to many or many to many fields, uh, other model records. That's the normal uh, database tables records like uh, customers, products, that kind of things. We can access from wizards. Okay, but uh, uh, regular records cannot refer to wizards. Okay, so in the product form, you cannot. Uh, uh, define a 
one to many or many to many field or something like that of transient model okay so these are the uh, main three differences uh, we have in uh, we have uh, with the transient model and models so uh, let's go to our wizard so this is the purpose of wizard so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create a wizard that uh, will help us to add attendees to our sessions so this is our code so what we did is we created a new folder under the open academy the open academy module it's called wizard so uh, all the wizards that we create under this module will be uh, under this uh, directory uh, just like the models so we have the wizard so uh, when we create a folder like that we have to mention that this that uh, wizard that, that directory in our main init.py file and uh, that uh, this wizard must contain a init file so we created the init file and we mentioned this under this init file okay init open academy init we import wizard so that's fine and here this is our wizard uh, python file here what we uh, defined our wizard it's open academy wizard is name is given and description wizard cube registration of attendees to session and we put a function uh, for selecting the sessions by default so session ids is a many to many fields just because we can assign uh, attendees to multiple sessions the same time so now uh, we put the many to many open academy session and uh, the default attribute have uh, the default session function name then uh, there's a subscribe function uh, that we use it to add the selected attendees to the sessions so this is a simple uh, model the demo that we create under the models is only the difference is we extending the transient model that's the main difference okay then uh, just like other uh, views we have to create a view for this transient model uh, this is given here the wizard dot form a form view that uh, we created uh, we don't need uh, any other views because uh, this data won't be stored in the database uh, so we don't need tree view or can when that kind of uh, pivot or something like that we just have to show this in a form view that's what so we only get the form view so open academy dot is that and the uh, session id is attendee, attendee ids that kind of things given and uh, under the footer session so uh, what is the footer so uh, there will be a uh, under the dialog box you can see the uh, buttons area and that means cancel validate kind of things so that comes under the footer section so in our footer we are going to put two fields uh, sorry two buttons that's called one is subscribe and other is cancel so uh, our form view is given then uh, uh, one more thing about the form view is it is uh, again comes under the ir.ua.view just like all other views okay so uh, even if it is a view for the transient model there is no change okay so it comes under the uh, ir.ua.view and uh, we have to trigger this wizard uh, from somewhere okay uh, it may be in some cases it may be from a menu or something like that in uh, so uh, we need a menu uh, in that case we need a menu and we have to mention the action for that menu then uh, we can trigger this wizard in this case what we have done is we have to we did just uh, something like this now uh, we can mark uh, the sessions and uh, uh, from the top menu from the top menu the action menu is the you see In the contextual action uh, like delete create uh, duplicate that kind of actions will be present in the top on uh, the uh, main form view 
whether we will add an action to trigger this wizard. So it can be used for multiple records and we can use it for the single records. So that case uh, what we do is uh, in our normal actions So uh, in this actions, uh, you see uh, the name, rest model, view more kind of things are given. Uh, but in this case, what we given a binding model. Okay. So this attributes uh, tells the system under which record uh, this uh, action has to be listed. So. Uh, uh, we will show you uh, when we see the user interface so uh, this binding model we have to mention so uh, what we have given is open academy session as a value for this binding model so uh, this conditional action will be given under the uh, open academy session records so um, we have the views so uh, we have to mention this view under the manifest file that we have already created uh, these are slash wizard view dot xml so now what we have to do is just to restart this uh, uh, project rerun this project then go to our auto apps so let's update this uh, module Here yeah, uh, under the sessions, we already said uh, we can uh, trigger as action using the menu item. So in this case, we use a, an, an, another method, and that's uh, something we can choose more than one action. Sorry, sessions, and under this uh, contextual action menu, uh, we have the add attendees. So this is what we added using this uh, main, uh, item uh, console action we can trigger our wizard so this is the sessions that we uh, selected in the list view it's automatically uh, added here by default and and the attendees we can add multiple attendees okay so is it this one so in here we can add multiple entities and we can just see, click subscribe to uh, create uh, sorry uh, subscribe uh, to add this attendee into these two sessions so uh, this is our this is our folder that we uh, defined in our uh, wizard view so this is how the wizard works and uh, uh, I hope you understand the video and how we can uh, make use of wizards the uh, two ways to trigger the wizard the open way that we already discussed in the form view and menus action uh, sessions you can refer to those uh, videos uh, for triggering wizard using the menus and actions so this is another approach that we can trigger the wizards I hope you uh, understand the video and found uh, found it useful. Uh, thanks for watching. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.